Hey, Shalom, Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, I would like to give all praises to the Most High Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Ruka Kodash. My double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone GMS who taught me this truth, which is the 100% truth. Peace and salutations to the hopeful elect spread around the four corners of the earth, risking their lives in these last days to push this truth. Shalom also to those who are sincerely seeking this truth. It's the brother Yara Ya from the GMS Italia camp, and I'm here with a quick one just to back up you know the series of lessons i've been doing in the past few days now so i've decided by the spirit to you know to go on and see how long i can continue you know making videos you know series of encouragement so this is going to be another series regarding encouragement what's of encouragement because the days we're about to go into are really dark days okay so what you're seeing on the screen is actually, I believe, um, Lot's wife, the pillar of salt of Lot's wife. You know, Lot's wife became a pillar of salt, and this pillar of salt is still found where it is till to, to today. Some archaeologists actually found this, that's to prove the story was true. Also, the city of Sodom and Gomorrah was found, okay. So the point I want to pick out of this is, if you go to the book of Genesis chapter 19, you can go through the whole story, okay? So everyone knows the story, I don't want to make this series long. So just to give a quick summary, okay? Lot was informed by the angels of the Most High Yehovah Hashem Yehovah Shai that the city of Sodom and Gomorrah was going to be destroyed. He needed to, you know, flee with his wife and his family. He bade some of his um, in-laws, he bade them and told them that, hey, listen, this city is going to be destroyed. But many of them didn't, all of them didn't even, you know, they didn't regard what he was saying. They thought it was crazy. Like, how are you going to think something like that? But at the end of the day, he left with his wife, I believe with his two daughters, okay? So they left, but they were commanded by the angels not to look back, okay, at the destruction. So the destruction started and the wife of Lot looked back and she became a pillar of salt. So this is just a simile, um, a simi um, how should I put it? Uh, uh, a simil similarity, a similitude, okay, this is just a similitude pardon my my imperfection in this language you know this is a similitude of what's about to happen you know so now this society that we live in is about to be destroyed by the host of angels led by Yahweh Shai the son of the most high the one who the world ignorantly calls Jesus and is um angel of war mikahala also called michael okay mikahala which means who is like the power they're about to come and destroy this society destroy this kingdom run by the sons of the wicked the so-called white man esau starting from the city that great city which is america okay babylon the great so they represent Sodom and Gomorrah, they've even done more than Sodom and Gomorrah, so their punishment is going to be way worse than that. Okay, now looking back is the question I'm going to ask you Are you going to look back like Lot's wife? Are you going to get scared of what's about to come? Okay, the most I have told us to trust the name, you know, to call on his name, to pray study scriptures and do to the best of our ability is commandments are you going to look back at the world what you're going to be leaving behind are you going to look back at your job that you're going to be leaving behind 
and you know queue up to take you know what and the mark of the beast are you going to look back and you know because of your family they're all against you are you going to look back because you're going through hard times and you just need to sign that deal are you going to look back and give up this race so it's your choice that you have to make but know that if you look back to this and fall back this time around you're not going to you're not going to turn into a pillar of salt you're going to be destroyed which at the end of the day turn into that pillar of salt signifies what's about to come destruction you know so this is these are words of encouragement you know about what's about to come because now Esau is giving some kind of um, illusion of freedom illusion of hope but there is so much wickedness that is coming this winter even before the winter we already seen the signs so our job is to inform you people before all these things happen so i'm going to open two precepts so if you want to go through the story the story of lot it's really inspiring you know you find it in the book of genesis 19. so i'm going to read first the book of first john chapter 2 verse 15 this is the book of first john 2 15 love not the world neither the things that are in the world if any man love the world the love of the father is not in him okay for all that is in the world the lust of flesh and the lust of the eyes and the pride of life is not of the father but is of the world it's your time to make a choice. The last, I think the second to the last series I made was actually on encouragement. You know, brought out the, the root word of encouragement, got a heart. You know, we're going to face perilous times, you know, times that we've never seen since the beginning of, of this world, man. Really hard times. And most of us are going to be tried as a matter of fact, all of us are going to be tried. So you need to be ready to face what's about to come. Don't give up. Don't look back like Lot's wife. Lot's wife looked back because she couldn't, she couldn't, she couldn't give up, you know, all her riches and the lust of this flesh, everything that she has gathered all her lives. So she looked back. She, was, she, she wasn't really happy she was going to leave those things and lose them. And this is the same thing that is going to happen to many of our brothers and sisters in this truth. If they don't pray, if they don't study their scriptures and plead Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai to help them to overcome what's about to come and try their best to keep to the best of their abilities these commandments that have been given to us, which are the ways of life. The scripture says your words are a lamp to my feet that's in the book of psalm or proverbs if i'm mistaken so hey don't look back like the wife of lot let's get another quick precept This is the book of Matthew, chapter 6, verse 24. It quotes, No man can serve two masters, for either he will hate the one and love the other, or else he will hold to the one and despise the other. Ye cannot serve God and mammon. Yes, you can't say you're in this truth, you're serving the Most High, and you go queue up and take the waters and say, Yeah, he understands because i need to i need it for my job because i need it for my business because i need it to travel because i need it to, to to be able to go out and do what i want to do he loves me he understands my my heart man you're in for a rude awakening
and this is exactly the hypocrisy of you know christians so-called christians that they are not even the true christians you know they call themselves christians and they don't they don't follow they don't follow the, the laws that are laid down by their so-called christ you know but we know his name his name is yahawa shai we know his father's name who is our father his name is yahawa he has given us laws and statutes to follow he has set prophets to inform us of what is about to come and these are the prophets of the great millstone gms they've been calling onto the flocks the sheep of the house of israel for many years they've been saying a lot of prophecies and we're seeing everything coming to play out one after the other it's your time to make a choice when the suffering starts are you going to look back like lot's wife or you're just going to walk straight your heart set on one path that narrow path that leads to life i'm going to stop here i hope this short lesson is edifying i want to give all praises to the most high yahawa bahashem yahawa shai bahashem ruka kodash my double honors to the apostles and elders of great millstone who have taught me this truth which is the 100 percent truth peace and salutations to the hopeful elect spread around the four corners of the earth it's the brother yaraya from the gms italia camp shalom